All right. Well, market already opened. I had to deal with the whole fucking internet just being broken today for me. So that was wonderful. But anyways, um, first things first, we got above these weekly highs. So our next draw on liquidity on the S&P is right here. We're going to try and speed run through this because we already have price action moving for us. And we have the gardeners fucking ear raping in the corner. So we're bullish on the daily, bullish on the weekly, bullish on the monthly. Not really much on the daily. I would like to potentially see this daily imbalance get filled eventually, but that's going to take some high time frame to get active. We're bearish on the four hour right now. We broke four hour structure of the downside and it looks like we just filled in this, in, this little imbalance right here. Oh, and it looks like we just sweeped out these highs and wow, maybe we should always start our freaking zooms late. Look at this action. Market open, we swept those highs. We can put, we might be able to break these lows. I shit so bad, bro. Um, no time for that though. We broke 15 minute structure to the downside. So this to me is saying bearish. I guess now we just wait for a one minute break of structure and then a fair value gap getting filled. That's what this looks like to me. We broke four hour structure. And to me, that means, okay, we're retracing on the daily. On the daily, there's not much to retrace towards at all. I'm not bullish on this. There's not much to retrace towards unless it's these lows right here. Oops. And I need to pee. Whole bunch of shit going on, boys. Okay. However, on the hourly, we're still yet to like fully turn bearish. So I guess this is what I'm waiting for. Yeah. Brody said it in the fucking chat. Um, I'm looking for a break of structure on the hourly. Okay. Um, and wait. That will come if we can close underneath here. Let's jump over to NASDAQ. I'm sure it has a similar, yeah, very similar situation going on right now. And boys, I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna have to unload this pre-market or what should have been pre-market dump, but I'll be super fast. Okay, daily time frame. Same, same shit, different day. We're above these highs. Our draw now on this is boom, boom, boom. These three highs along the way, okay. Um, daily time frame, nothing going on. Similar situation. We want to fill in this imbalance. Four hour boom. We're bare as we broke structure the downside. We're filling in this imbalance right now. We haven't closed above this fair value gap. Looks great. Um, on the one hour, same situation. We filled in this fair value gap. We're looking to potentially boom, boom, break structure to the downside off this. And if we can, then awesome. Boom, boom. We start looking for base of structure on the one minute. We start looking for fair value gaps. Awesome, cool. We know the game plan. Ready. Break. Okay. So we have, we have about five minutes until this hourly candle closes. Me personally, I'm waiting to see what sort of action we get off this. We've got around four minutes left. We got one minute until we can see if we stay below this hourly low right here. See if we break structure. NASDAQ, or sorry, we have a minute 40, 40 seconds, but NASDAQ is floating above here. S&P is floating, or floating below here currently, so. You will just have to wait and see. Okay, we're watching this. We got five seconds left. Four. Wow. Three. One. 
no break is ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, man. That was supposed to be a break of structure, and we were supposed to be bearish on this bitch. Damn, okay. Well, um... Price action's looking like a shitstorm right now. <sighs> so, this is the predicament we're in. On the daily, we're bullish. On the four hour, we're bearish. On the hourly, we're bullish. On the 15 minute, we're bearish. It's, we're alternating back and forth, bruh. Five minute just broke. <laughs> Literally, wait, daily bullish, four hour bearish, hourly bullish, 15 minute bearish, five minute bullish, one minute, hey, we finally have one in line. <laughs> oh, ridiculous, bro. Um, okay, well now that that happened, I'm going to need a couple things. I'm going to need to just wait a little bit longer for price action to, because if price wants to go up, awesome. Like, but you're going to have to convince me. Right now, I'm not convinced whatsoever that price is going to go higher from here um, because the four hours bearish and it looks like we just filled in this four hour fair value gap perfectly to a fucking T with this same thing off this, right? It looks like we're filling in this four hour fair value gap right here and then going to cause a reaction off of it. Maybe it's just the fact that, hey, we're just in the mix of it. We just filled in the fair value gap and price on the lower time frames. it's got, we need some time to adjust, you know? That could be the case. Um, so in that case, Again, I'm still bearish until the 15 minute can flip. Okay, if we can get a 15 minute break of structure to the upside, then I'll be b bullish. But for the time being, I'm still bearish. Especially since the four hours bearish, that for me is like a big sign. Like it usually means we want to retrace on the daily. Daily's due for a retrace. Like, and by due for a retrace, I mean. I want to see that thing get all the way in here. Um, the weekly's fucking due for a retrace. I mean, look at this shit, bro. We've had one, two, three. Yeah, we've had four big ass dicks of weeks um, to the upside. We're due for a retrace. Um, so... I guess what we do from here is just sit and wait to see if we get flipped bullish again. Um, and if not, then we can look for bears. But at this point in time, not feeling the overall vibes from either direction because to the downside, it doesn't look too hot because it would have been hot as fuck if we were able to break this hourly low. We didn't. Now it's like, oh, we got the five minute break construction to the outside. We got the hourly still bullish. You know? So I'm going to need some motion and commotion to the downside before I'm fully convinced that we're going down. We also could very well just be bullshitting in like a big ass consolidation range that kind of looks like this. There's like a bunch of possibilities here. And the only thing that we can do is sit back, relax, and see what market gives us because there's really no action to be taken right now. Um, with this 
So for me, I'd rather chill, wait a bit, see what price wants to give us, and then get active. You want some philosophy philosophy from TJR Trades? Bet. Hear me out, boys. Might as well turn the charts off. The charts aren't telling us anything right now. Um, let me just break this down for you guys, okay? If a girl really, really, really is into you, I'm, I'm already getting hard thinking about this, but if a girl is really, y'all are saying, here we go, come on, bro. I haven't even said anything. If a girl is really, really into you, there will be a time and a place where you sit down together with each other, where you contemplate the thought of her eating your ass. Doesn't mean you have to say yes, doesn't mean you have to say no. But if y'all are really, really into each other, in my situation, it, it was her that brought it up. In your situation, it could be you. And when it happens, don't be startled, don't be afraid, just make the right decision. There we are, let's get back into trading. Okay, so we have a, a 15 minute high right here. And the S&P, this is the 15 minute high. <laughs> I'm bored, bruh. It looks like we're gonna... I'm going to fucking murder him. I'm going to murder that gardener. You know what's crazy? He's not... He's not even working on my crib right now. He's working on the crib next door. Oh, I'm about so Stop! going to hurt him, bro. And meanwhile, I'm trying to teach good fucking life lessons. And he's just, whoa, what is that dime piece of a giant? Who is that? Wait, send that as a, as an actual picture. Wait, I don't want to join the server. Send that as an actual picture. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to join that server. You can't send pictures in here? Why not? Oh, sorry. Me waiting for a 15 minute break of structure. Hey, me looking at a 15 minute break of structure. <laughs> All right, so we broke 15 minute structure on gas pack. Ooh, bro, but also like, come on, man. Like, even even if the hourly wants to go higher, like where's it going to go? Cause the four hour, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, come on, yo, y'all are weird, bro, okay, and he, oh, whoa, yeah, we're, t all right, I'm closing down Discord chat while I try and educate y'all for a second, bro, man, dude, what, I'm not even checking what's going on in there, anyways, back to what I was saying, man, until I got jump scared. <laughs> um, yeah, we broke 15 minute structure, 
But again, like how much it, how much of a benefit is that to us? I'm going to murder those, not murder. I'm going to slightly caress those gardeners' necks with my bare hands and make them fall asleep. Okay, but anyways, um, why am I hard? Morning Wood's going crazy right now. But, maybe it was from that picture. Um, but anyways, the one minute is bullish, but the four hour is bearish. So with that in mind, it's like, oh, the one minute, or the one hour is just causing a four hour retrace, which we see happening right here, right? So boom, if we just drag our little GAN box, we can find equilibrium for this four hour retrace. Boom, we find, what are we looking for? We're looking for, boom, okay, for value gaps, whatever, we still have the potential to close within this, right? We're looking for a four hour retrace. We're already pretty extended in this retrace, bro. So if we start looking for longs off of this 15 minute break of structure, knowing, oh, the hourly's bullish, but also knowing the four hours bullish, how much farther is this shit gonna go? Is this shit gonna go up to these highs? It, you know, then it's like, damn, that shit's damn near at the four hour high at that point. And it's like, oh, well, we just broke four hour structure. I think this thing's going to go lower. And because I think it's going to go lower, why would I, why would I bet on lower time frames that it's just going to go higher, even though I know damn well it doesn't have much higher to go? You know? You feel me? That's how I'm feeling right now. Um... I... I don't think we're gonna end up taking trade today, boys. Just looking at this, same shit here. Even though we didn't break 15 minute structure to the upside. And this is even better. We have this hourly imbalance right here that we pretty much, we filled 50% of, 50 of it, okay. Um, is this a high? No. We already filled way up all the way up into equilibrium and we're wicking down below it now. And we didn't get a break of structure on the 15 on this, but we did on the five minute. This to me still looks bearish. And it looks like we just got a break of structure in the one minute and a fat ass fair value gap, which is probably going to fill. I wouldn't mind gambling on a trade off of this imbalance and then shorting it all the way till here and then till here. I wouldn't mind a trade like that because I still think that we'll break hourly structure and continue this four hour leg to the downside. I could be completely wrong and that's why I said it was gam it's gambling because we don't have that hourly break of structure that I wanted and that I needed to say that, oh, we're ready for this four hour extension to get going. Could you kind of take a gamble and say that, hey, maybe this, maybe this candle that's forming right now on the hourly is going to break structure? Yeah, you could. Is it a gamble that I'm willing to take? Eh, not really. I really don't think I trade today, boys. We're already 20 minutes into 10, into 10 a.m. We'll let this rock for another 10 minutes. I don't think I trade today. Man, y'all have still been spamming pictures. I'm gonna turn that shit back off, bro. Y'all lost permission. Jesus. Yeah, it looks like this shit's gonna be bearish. See, this would have been the gamble play that we would have waited for, either this fair value gap or this fair value gap. It's just not worth it to me. Would have shorted off this shit with stops above here. Not worth it to me. Um, it would be worth it if we got a break structure off this, which we didn't. Again, like I was just saying, if we can with this hourly candle, awesome, bro. Let's fucking do it. Um. 
But it's not worth. We're still bullish on the five day, even though I think that'll change pretty quick. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll look out for it to take out these lows and then these lows and then lower and lower on the daily time frame. Hopefully coming into this area. But yeah, man, as of today, looks like we're not going to take any trades. I'm honestly very happy with that. Let's go over and look at the, uh, the, um, shit over here. We got, uh, tomorrow, not much FOMC member speaking, but I don't give a fuck about Waller. Um, I only give a fuck about FOMC minutes, the actual FOMC and federal chairman Powell speaking. Um, Consumer confidence, that should affect the market a decent amount. 15 minutes in the market open, we'll wait for it. <laughs> Whoa. Prelim GDP coming out an hour before market opens. Um, we should still be good to trade on that. Thursday, we got a bunch of shit going on. We should still be able to trade, but again, it might be a situation like today where I don't want to trade because of unemployment claims. And on Friday, December 1st, we have Powell speaking. I will be fully avoiding and definitely not trading on the 1st. But all these other days, good to go. Um, should be solid, solid gang work. Um, so yeah. Looks pretty good. Um, And I'll repeat that for the YouTube video. They were saying, oh, if GJ looks clean, why aren't you taking it? Because I was doing Forex analysis for them. They were saying, why aren't you, why aren't you, you know, like taking a trade on GJ? If it looks good to you, why aren't you taking a trade on GU if it looks good to you? Because I've been doing so well with the indexes and the indexes aren't showing me anything. I haven't traded these pairs in a while. Usually what I like to do to get back into a, into a pair, I'll start trading it on my own first, especially if I'm trying to like give call outs to the Discord, I sure as hell won't just jump right back into a pair that I haven't touched for a couple months and give you guys like a trade that you guys are going to spend your money on, right? That would be stupid of me. And uh, that would, yeah, that would be really, really stupid of me. So what I do instead is like I take some time, maybe trade it for like a week or two, buy my dolo, get back into the feel of it, and then, I start, you know, talking about it on stream, maybe take a trade or two. However, I'm there's I don't see any reason like I've been trading the best I've ever been trading the past two months, literally. Um, and it's been on these two pairs. So why in the world would I go against and start trying to change shit um, if I've been trading so well? Right, doesn't make any sense. So, with that being said, no trades for me today. Um, not, um, not looking to take anything. It's just really, really mixed biases today. Hopefully, we can get some more price action throughout the day to um, help us figure out where price wants to go. You know, Mondays are usually pretty iffy. I know a lot of traders avoid Mondays. Um, tomorrow, we have a bunch of news coming in. Should be able to move the markets a decent amount. Should be able, <gasps> oops, should be able to give us some, uh, should be able to give us good trades. I'm thinking about streaming um, again on kick tomorrow. How do y'all feel about that? No, no, bet. Okay, I won't do it. No. Okay, bet, fine, then I won't stream on kick tomorrow. Sorry, I, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, fine, I'll stream on kick today. I'll stream on kick today and I'll, um, Friday on FOMC? FOMC is on Friday? 
Oh, true. When Powell speaks, bet, bet, bet. We'll stream on Friday. Okay. That being said, boys, no trades for me today. I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys for rocking with me. We'll stream today. Okay. We'll do a stream today. We'll do a crypto stream. I'll talk about some shit. Talk about some of the positions that we're in. Um, talk about Bitcoin. Talk about Ethereum. We'll see where we want to go. All right. Same thing to the YouTube jits. Tap into the K stream today. Link should be in the bio. All right.